So we have a bit of a preliminary work to do before we can really start work on our flow, namely create a bunch of custom fields on the posts collection. So uh, let's take a look at the code. So I have all my code for uh, this in uh, the sidebar 2017 package. And here we have the custom fields file. So the first one that's uh, interesting for us is the sponsored custom field. It's a Boolean and it just defines if a post is sponsored or not. Uh, we have a second one that defines if a post is a sponsored candidate. So before the, the sponsorship has been approved. The reason we need two is because this one can be set by users, but this one can't. Um, you can see here it says it's only insertable and editable by admins, whereas this one is insertable and editable by any member. If we only had this one, right, uh, and we made it uh, insertable, editable by members, uh, even if our flow worked correctly, there would be a security risk where someone could maybe just submit a regular post and then set it as sponsored uh, later on. So to avoid that, we have two fields and different permissions. Then we have sponsorship price. And this is in case uh, an admin wants to define um, a specific price or basically a discount for a sponsorship. So the way it would work is uh, the customer would submit their post but not pay. So, and while it's in that state, the admin would uh, go in, enter a custom price, and then when the client pays, they will use the custom price. Um, we have pay that used to keep track of when a post has been paid for. And this can also be used to test if a post has been paid for or not by testing for the existence of that field. And finally, we have uh, charge IDs, an array of charges. Now a charge, you know, is when the, the client actually enters their credit card number and processor that processes their payment. The reason why this is an array is because uh, sidebars payments uh, package uses an array just to be more flexible. So typically here, people will only pay once for one sponsorship. But you can imagine if these were memberships, for example, you could have people pay every month or something. So uh, this is why this is an array. And since, since it's an array, we have this um, array item custom field uh, as well. So that's it for our custom fields. Another thing we need to do is define a couple of routes. So one for each step of the flow, sponsor, and then entering a new post, picking a date, and then paying. And uh, you can see that uh, these steps take uh, an optional post ID. Uh, actually, so the, the, the new post step takes an optional post ID. And if the post ID isn't here, it will be uh, what you saw the new post form. If it is here, it will be um, the edit post form. So this is how you would load a draft, which you'll soon see. And then for the last two steps, a post ID is required. So that's why the the parentheses are here is to make um, URL query parameter optional. So that's it for our preliminary work. And now let's jump to the second step, the, the sponsor page. So this is the page that um, shows you the information and has the link to uh, start the flow. Uh, that page isn't very uh, complex. It does include a cool uh, markdown loading feature. So how that works is um, through the markdown component. Because uh, our markdown is stored in uh, these text files here. And uh, what we want to do is if we're on the server, we want to uh, load this as part of the server side rendering uh, process. If we're on the client, though, uh, we want to load it uh, dynamically, right? And to avoid, you know, if we had a, a ton of uh, markdown content, you know, which we don't, but if we did, we maybe don't want to bundle everything together. So this lets us load this uh, dynamically and then uh, display it as markdown in our component. 
So this is a small, uh, pretty handy component that does this. And um, so if we look at our sponsor page, you can see we are using it twice, once for uh, everything that comes above the button and then everything that comes below. So the, the quotes here. So that's it for the sponsor page. Pretty simple. Um, one more detail I didn't mention. When you're dealing with assets in Meteor, uh, you do have to load them in a couple different uh, places. So here we are loading it uh, to, or passing it to our component so that it will be loaded, but we also need to uh, register it with our package um, right here. If we don't do that, uh, the, the, the markdown file won't be available. Uh, it won't be served to the client at all. So we need to do that. So that's it for uh, the first step, sponsor page. Next up, things start to get serious with the submit link page.